thousands of Quebecers will be getting a phone call from the RAMQ in the next few months. Cartagène, or the Biobank project, wants blood samples and medical information from Quebec's population. The data could have a major impact on the future of medicine. Pierre Le Gagnon reports. The Cartagène data bank is a snapshot of the health of thousands of Quebecers, each pixel of the picture, a detail about health, lifestyle and genes. But scientists want to include thousands more people. Well, one of the whole points of a program like Cartagen is to uh, facilitate that access to biologicals and uh, clinical data that would have cost millions of dollars to have collected each time that type of project uh, wanted to get up and going. The data collected is then used by scientists like Dr. Pavel Hamet, a leader in diabetes and hypertension research. He says Cartagène helped him better understand the development of diseases and the links between them. Why some people have it at 50, some people at 90? And why those people who have it at 50 have at the same time something else, propensity to diabetes, to obesity? And we have just found out also osteoporosis. To answer these questions, Cartagène looks at things like blood samples, but also lifestyle and eating habits. The goal is to better understand what is caused by genetic predispositions and by the environment. It's usually a complex interplay between a number of genes and the environment and the lifestyle of that particular individual. Once these links become clearer, medicine could then focus on prevention and design custom treatments for certain population groups. It's also going to determine side effects of the medications, which are costly. And side effects are not the same in different populations. And one of the goals here is to personalize medicine. To do that, Cartagen is collecting data across six centers in Quebec. And already researchers say that they found noticeable differences in the genes of people from Montreal versus Quebec City or Chicoutimi. Pierre Le Gagnon, CBC News, Montreal.